Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to use percents and convert them into angle degrees for a pie graph. So if you are told that in your pie chart, 50% of it should be colored orange, let's say, and another 25% is going to be green and the other 25% is going to be blue. And you want to go ahead and accurately and precisely draw a pie graph. Well, you need to first figure out how many degrees are going to be orange. So you know that 50% of the pie chart is orange. So you would just cut it in half. But if we wanted to be really precise about it and get a degree measurement, what you need to know is 50% of the entire circle's degrees. So the important thing to know is that an entire circle is 360 degrees. So what we want to do is 50% of 360. Okay. Now we just have a simple percent problem. Anytime you want to find a percent of a number, we're going to convert it into a decimal first. So 50% is 0.5. Of always means to multiply. And 360 is just a number, so I'm going to bring it down. And now we're doing 0 0.5 times 360. And if you work that out or do it in your calculator, you're going to get 180, which means that 50% of a circle is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay, so when I go and draw that out, you would have your protractor so you could do it more accurately, but it's going to look like that, and this part of it would be orange, okay? And then the same thing for the 25% that's green, you want to know what is 25% of 360. Put that in your calculator, you're going to end up getting 90, and you'll draw a nice right angle for 90 degrees, and you'll get the same thing for the other one. So to use percents to find out the angle measurements, just take the percent of 360, because 360 is the total degrees in a circle. That's how you use percents to find angle degree measurement.